Hey everyone, Liam here. Um, within the YouTube community, there's been a big uh, uproar regards uh, YouTube celebrity Shay Carl and uh, his not allegations, but uh, you know, uh, actual confirmation of him basically cheating on his wife. And then he went to I think Instagram to post about you know. He having pro him having problems with alcohol and that he had struggled with it for years, and I'm not. This isn't a video to get down on on him or really to talk about his particular situation. It's gonna I'm gonna expand on it. You'll see what I mean. But I mean, uh, just to start out, um, you know, he always portrayed this happy go lucky guy with a positive attitude. Uh, that you know, if if you just if you're always positive, uh, that will lead lead to happiness basically. Meanwhile, it's like a, he he's putting on this shell or this coat that hides away his actual feelings. And, you know, I guess he wasn't happy no matter what, uh, how often he tried to tell himself or convince others that, you know, oh, I, I'm happy with myself, happy with my life, I'm happy with where I am, I'm happy with my job, my, my income, uh, now what I was getting at basically is now I'm gonna, for uh, what um you know that whole issue you know it's not good to cheat on your spouse but uh what I'm getting at is like what I said like how you use a coat or as a shell like I think that's how a lot of society is today though in regards to like are any of us really happy personal standpoint without getting too personal um I have I struggle with anxiety and depression. And it's been going on. It, it, I mean, it really has been picked up. I, I've been diagnosed with it for, I think, 10 years. But it's really picked up really bad within the past two years. And I've had uh, several personal um, experiences uh, within the last couple months, too, that um, in my personal life that have made it even worse. Um, so... Just also even expand even further, you know, I'm always on social media a lot, which is probably a downfall of our society. Uh, you know, if you think about it, our family, our parents grew up, if you're my age, you're like I'm almost 30. If you're my age, you know, like your parents grew up in a time where they didn't have technology when uh, the only way to get in contact with your friend was through a landline phone. And you know they went and when how they interacted wasn't through uh, through screens, but it was actual face to face interaction with each other. And they went, you know, they played from dusk till dawn, and that's how they interact. And I think I think technology now that I'm thinking about it, just making this video just is and is going to add to why I think a lot of us sometimes are not um, as happy or as, or, um, as positive as we want to try to be. Um, you know, for example, with social media, again, uh, you know, you see people post a lot, and it's like they they want to get a reaction, the likes, the comments, for others' approval. Something else that I always notice, too, and this is something I think I'm guilty of as well, is it seems like we try to impress the people that don't like us or that we think don't like us instead of focusing on the people that already matter. I think that's another thing that, um, that people struggle with they focus too much they do even if they try to be positive they do focus on the negative it's not in it and it's reality it's just human nature of uh why we do it i don't know i can't tell you i'm not a psychologist but it seems like we want everyone's approval for for just you know for whatever reason um and they expand again even further um you know when i also on social media it's like I, I see people post their lives, and I try not to post really much anything of my personal life too much on on any platform of social media. But you know, you, I, I see people post you know things about their children, which is fine. Um, some they'll go to the extremes where they're like living vicariously through their kids. Um, it's all. It, it just seems like a blanket to cover. Uh, whatever emptiness they're feeling, or we're feeling, as an individual, 
and I and I experienced that a lot too. Um, uh, just I I know one thing is I'm not happy in general with my life, especially like I said, it, with personal issues that have gone on in the past couple months. But the past couple years, it's just I, I've taken it. You know, I've I've gone downward. I don't want to say in downward spiral because that sounds really bad, but um, it's just, it's like I'm almost falling rock to rock bottom. That's even just as bad, but, uh, you know, that's probably the norm, though. That's the thing. When I think about it, sit back, you know, it's like a lot of us probably think, oh, this is only happening to me. Why is this only happening to me? When you look at it and you, you see, you know, there's probably a lot of people out there. I, I would best... Uh, and say that 75% of people, 80% of people, I'm just throwing that number out there because it, it seems quite a bit, are probably not happy with, with how their life is, no matter how much money they have, no much, how much mat, uh, materials, possessions they have. They're never going to, they're probably never happy. And they can never, uh, you know, create happiness for you, maybe temporarily. But it's just a, fi a quick fix. It never addresses the problem. A lot of times, too, you know, people don't want to seek help because then people might look at them differently, you know, like think of what's wrong. And that goes, again, with the mental illness uh, factor of it. Because, you know, you, you can't see, you know, mental illness like a physical, physical uh, deformity. Like if you lost a leg or an arm or, you know, your, um, or if you're physically, you know, or if you're mentally slow that you can actually see the person, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna walk on eggshells here. If you're physical or if you're mentally retarded, you can see that person has problems. So you're like, okay, yeah, I understand. But people that deal with like a mental illness as such as like depression, uh, anxiety, <clears throat> like I do, or others who have schizophrenia. Um, there's all, all, all sorts of types of other depressions as well. Um, and then there's people deal with narcissism, but that's where you love yourself so much. So I, I guess, but see, they probably deep down probably hate themselves as well too because they try to put on this, uh, this charade and this mask that, you know, that they're so great. And, you know, they, that they have to keep telling themselves over and over again when in reality, deep down, they probably, too, know that they are not happy with themselves. And I kind of see that, too, online with several, uh, uh, you know, internet personas, if you will, if you catch my drift there, uh, if you catch the uh, reference. But, no, I mean, it's just, you know, just that's what I'm relating the whole Shea Carl thing to is, okay, you know, I'm not, I'm not ex excusing what he did, but it kind of explains that I think majority of people in today's society aren't happy and I think I can pin it probably on um, social media now that I think about it like I said and I even made a, a podcast a mini podcast uh, about like so, uh, social media being linked to depression I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video below um, but it's just amazing uh, that I, when I just sit there and think about it you know that a lot of us probably aren't happy with our with our lives, no matter what we do or what we accomplish. We're, we're never, it's never enough, and we're always going to be, you know, disappointed in ourselves. We're always going to something could always set us off, and you know, have a total backlash where you're just. Isolated from everything, isolated from your peers, your friends, your family, and then you spiral out of control, so to speak, until you can't take it anymore, and it causes more problems on top of the ones you already have. So that's my take. I just wanted to expand upon, you know, the Shea Carl thing and, tra and transcend into a transition into a, you know, what. Uh, I think about it because, you know, that guy right there, Shea Carl, I mean, we all saw him on camera as this happy-go-lucky guy who didn't have any negativity in his life, but behind the scenes, behind the camera, shows another story, and I think that goes for anyone else out there as well. 
what you see is not what you always get uh, when, you, when you see someone online. Uh, but with that said, as always, I'm Nam, and always use your noodle.